Atlanta United Fan TV 2-1 win. And I think ultimately we did enough to, I think, get the three points in a sense where, yeah, we played really well throughout. Weren't maybe clinical enough at the end. Could but have been six. Could have been six, I but mean, uh, yeah. Joseph buries some of his chances and Barco takes his chance. I mean, it's a win against a team that you need, really needed to get points against. They're four behind us now. They still have two matches in hand. I think we played 25 and they played 23 or something like that. But uh, beating NYC is never a bad thing. They're a good squad. They're a really good squad. And they're actually leading MLS in points per game right now. So uh, Tati Castellanos came out of the womb diving for them, uh, number 11. So... Uh, you know, like I said, man, it, it's it's a it's a good win. I'm happy to see it. You know, and and I, I, there's a lot of people in my Twitter mentioned saying that like they really wish PT would have taken that PK because he earned it. But if it's two nil, if that first goal hadn't been called back and it's two nil, then you give it to him. But uh, you got to give that you got to give that goal to the king. So like I said, it's it's a win. There's a, there's there's negatives, and I'm sure we'll hit on them. But let's start with the positives. You know, Miles played his ass off today. Uh, Joseph looked good coming off the groin strain. Um, I was a little nervous there on that first one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> first minute in. Exactly. Which I, I think you might be, maybe you uh, made a meal of it just a little bit. Uh, just a South American actually making a meal of something. Well, uh, imagine that. What, maybe? Kind of like, kind of are like you? this morning. <laughs> uh, I, like I said, and, and a lot of people that are tweeting at me, yeah, I support him 36 out of 38 Premier League matches, but when he plays Arsenal, he can fuck yeah. off. Don't don't dive against <laughs> Arsenal, yeah. And don't dive with VAR. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in, in terms of, uh, yeah, like, in terms of on a whole, um, we were good. Yeah. The only real complaint that I have at the end is like when you're trying to kill the match off and you have a sub in hand, take it. Like, please bring on Pereira, bring on Tito. Larry looked a little slow and off the pace. Yeah, I feel like he was at fault for their goal. Um, which is, is it a little bit like where he's not being played in the right position? Because I mean, what was his position? Because yeah. in a back three with three with two yeah. with a pivot, center midfielders yeah. instead of a center. Center defensive defensive mid. midfielder. Yeah, so it was it was a weird setup to play the way that we to, to bring in Heinemann and and Lorenzo at basically the same time, because yeah. um, it, it makes you ultra defensive, and then there's that big gap between the front and the back, which we've had problems with during the year. But I thought Gressel was was amazing today. I thought he ran his legs off. I thought Justin Miram continues to put in shifts at that left wing back, which is weird because we take forwards and turn them into left wing backs or you know or or, or right wing backs. So you know it's it's an adjustment. Um, but it's it's a win, and and like I said, you you when you get three points against a team that's leading the league in points per game, it's it's a good thing. It's a win at home. I wish we would have kept the clean sheet, but onward and upwards. We got a we got Campione's Cup, which I hope we see some twos play in because there's a long flight across the country to play in that beautiful New Providence Park. So. Yeah. Which, I mean, would you actually, you know, play a really rotated squad? Or Hell yes. <laughs> uh, like I said, you have a cross-country flight, a coach cross-country flight, a non-charter cross-country yeah. flight, thanks MLS, um, and you got to – I mean, yeah, it's a cup. It's something to play for, but it's. I think at the end of the day, I think uh, Darren Eels would say, yeah. I mean, if he had any sort of uh, hand in predicting that eleven, he would want to say, yeah, probably play at least a pretty strong one. I mean, it pretty strong you, includes Tito and Dion and Alec Can and Jeff Lorenowitz and Emerson Heineman and uh, yeah. players like that that maybe didn't get the minutes today. Cool. If they're going to start at Portland, take a seat on the bench. Or, or, or chill at home like Joseph did in the Open Cup. You know, I mean, the run of games coming up is insane. If you think about it, we play 11, 14, 18, 23, 27. And a lot of them away. Exactly. And one of them is a cup, or two of them are cup finals. Yep. And, uh, and Portland away, Orlando away. You know, it's hard to gauge against, you know, what is Club America going to bring? You know, what is Minnesota going to bring? Because that's, I was really looking forward to a rematch with Portland because you would at least have had a chance to see them you know, in between, but now it's like Minnesota's been killing it in the West. So um, a lot of, a big run of games, man. I mean, but today was the, the day that, you know, we had, we had to focus on it and we got the win. So I'll take it. Um, yeah. I mean, so in, in terms of uh, just summing up the, the entire game for you, I mean, uh, I think, you know, Miles, I think, Got the man of the match. He got man of the match, yeah. Uh, would, would you call him the man of the match? Or no, Joseph? no. Um, honestly, I think that the the guy who's – he didn't show up on the stat sheet, but, he, again, he ran he ran his legs off just like he did in the open cover. Justin Miram. I mean, since we brought him in from Columbus for literally nothing, I mean, it was like almost a straight trade for him and Romario Williams. You know, it was like a bag of chips and some soccer balls. But he's been one of our better players, and he's, he's slid into the team just like seamlessly. Yep. Um, so – Mine would have gone to Justin Miram, even though he didn't show up on the on the, the stat sheet. But it's it's a situation where it's like it's a great team win. We had our we had our moments. The yellow card for LGP was dumb. Uh, I feel like Jair Marufo let him play a lot today. And if if you're watching this and you're in the comments below, can somebody please explain to me how number 16 for them doesn't see a second yellow for the penalty? Like I don't understand how he can chop a player down, be on a yellow card, and then not see the yellow. And uh, a Dallow for them, number four. 
Yeah, another player that, that she, or not Dallow, it's uh, one of those French names. Number four and number 16 for them should have seen second yellows. Yeah, there, there were a ton of elbows or hands to head and all that throughout the match, and you kind of just let that go, and then when we <laughs> would do it, we Instant would absolutely yellow. get it. Yeah. Instant yellow. So, but it's a win. It's three points, and it's onward and upward. Yeah.